I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and it's part two of a dogfight battle between the Nokia Lumia 928 on Verizon and the Nokia Lumia 920 on AT&T. It's a battle of nation's largest wireless carrier versus nation's second largest wireless carrier with a bunch of fun colors to boot. Which one's going to come out on top? We'll find out in PhoneDog's dogfight battle part two, which starts right now. In part two of the dogfight battle between the Nokia Lumia 928 and the Nokia Lumia 920, two Windows phones, two brothers at that, I'm going to talk about personalization because it has changed a lot from Windows Phone 7 and you get the personalization to an effect on both of these devices. Now you'll see the colors the same here. It's still got the Metro UI look and feel but the tiles are slightly different. Not only can you make them one size fits all or depending on which one. Previously in Windows Phone 7 for example messaging had to stay the same. You couldn't make the tile larger or smaller and I was always like what if I want to see previews of my messaging? Why can I see previews on my calendar for example but not on my messaging, you know, that type of thing. So you can do that over here now just by clicking messaging, for example, and then making it larger or making it smaller if you want to, as you see fit. And like you can see, I've got mine customized differently over here based on my time with this as part of my 30 day challenge. And then over here, a little bit different as well. You can move these around and really make these your own if you want to make this one larger. And granted, some don't go all three sizes. For example, certain applications will only do one size or two sizes, but really a nice functionality and nice improvement over Windows Phone 7. Before I get too far into personalization and customization, I want to give a shout out to our boys at Best Buy Mobile because they give us devices like this for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game, which is our free game on the site that we give the phones to you so you can win the phones for free. Can't beat that, huh? That's what I thought. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile to get either of the Lumia devices you see in this video, you'll walk out working. They'll get your web, your contacts, your email set up. So when you walk out the door, you're good to go. Don't have to worry about all this stuff at Best Buy Mobile. So theme here, for example, is olive on both of these devices. I can change the background if I want to to light, though you'll notice the screen's optimized for dark colors. It is an AMOLED display. So choosing the light, black, the light background will use up more of your phone's battery, but we'll show you what it looks like just for sake of showing you. So you can change the colors around. Many more colors in Windows Phone 8 versus Windows Phone 7 as you just saw right there. And also some nice customizations come by way of the lock screen. So this is one of those things, despite these changes, it just feels flat to me. And that's something I'm hoping to change my perception of in the 30 day challenge with the Nokia Lumia 920 because it still feels like there's not enough customization. I still really struggle to make these devices my own when I use them for a couple of days or in the case of this one, 30 days is part of my 30 day challenge. So we'll go into lock screen on both and you can see my background where it says choose background. Well, I've got a couple of different options here. I can choose Facebook, Bing, or photo. And what that does is if it's Facebook, it'll show customized Facebook pictures based on my account on the lock screen. On this one, for example, it'll show Bing. I can show the artist when I'm playing music. And then I can choose an app to show detailed status. So for example, I can say my battery is my detailed status. And then down here, I can customize what I want to show. So for example, Outlook, I can show. And so as you see right here, I can turn it off and back on and what it's going to show is my battery info. So if I wanted it to show messaging and you texted me, it'd show a preview of your message right here and what you're seeing behind it, that Bing background which changes on a regular basis. Kind of the same setup over here and then you can see down at the bottom, I've got my battery indicator there and then I can customize this. If I wanted the battery indicator over here, for example, I would just set it to a different one of these five. I'd set it like right here but right now, I've got it set for right in the middle. So still some cool customizations, just not up to par with other alternatives on the market. It's something that I think that they really have got to work on if they want to make this thing appeal to a lot of different people. I think customization is the most underrated, yet people want it so bad. And that's something that Android offers. It's something that iOS offers as well. So we'll go back here for example, and you can see pressing and holding the back button activates what I, they call multitasking. I don't know that I really call it multitasking. It's more like fast app switching, but using this as an example, I can go right back to that message I was typing earlier in part one and go back to retyping my message and just swipe back and forth between applications that I've used in the past. So that's a cool little feature. Let's take a look at speed test because these both have, as you can see here, LTE capabilities. They're both 4G LTE capable on their respective carriers. This one on Verizon, this one on AT&T. So we'll load up speed test. Of course we want it to show our location. Should bring up a Dallas server and let's get this sucker ready to rumble and let's hit boom. 
hosted by Solar VPS, hosted by Frost Gaming, a little bit different. But you can see over here on the AT&T side, 18 megabits per second on the download. On the Verizon side, Verizon commits to 5 to 12 megabits per second on the download, 2 to 5 megabits per second on the upload. That's not to say it can't be faster, that's not to say even it can't be slower sometimes, but that's what they commit to. Over here, that falls right in that 5 to 12 megabit per second number at 7.39 megabits per second. Over here, blazing at 18.9 megabits per second. Now, keep in mind, I live in Dallas, I work in Dallas, and Dallas is very much a strong AT&T market. I would argue that Dallas and Atlanta are the two strongest AT&T markets in the nation. So obviously it does a great job on AT&T LTE. Upload 5.92 megabits per second over here on the upload speed 4.79 over here. So fast all around, they're both LTE devices, and I will say Verizon has the larger LTE footprint. Though AT&T is growing fast, if you want that LTE footprint out of the box, this one, they were at 497 markets. I want to say they've actually passed 500 since I last saw that press release, but we'll just stick to the last press release, which was 497. LTE markets. Now, I talked about this in part one. There are just a couple of things that get on my nerves about Windows Phone 8. And I'll show you a couple of those just really quickly. And this is something if you're coming from another platform, maybe these will bug you, maybe they won't, maybe you think it's a waste of time that I cover these, but I'll show you anyway. And while I'm doing that over here, I'm going to show you Nokia Music, which comes pre-installed on both of these devices. Think of it a lot like a Spotify, for example. I can come in here to Nokia Music, and I can hit OK, and I can listen to my own music. So I can create a mix if I want to, for example, an artist mix, and I can listen to it and skip up to six times. This is a typical Nokia Music free version, and if I want to pay for it, uh, or do the paid version, I should say, I can do that, and it won't skip, or it'll allow me to skip unlimited amounts. So updates, for example, this is kind of what frustrates me. So I'm going to go in here, and I'll say Nokia Collection, and this is something iOS used to do as well, and they've just recently stopped. Let's just say, you know, Foursquare, is what I want here. I actually have Foursquare installed. So let's say I have uh, just no, I have ESPN Hub installed too. Let's say Nokia. Let's do Hulu Plus just for example. I'm going to install it. And you'll see once it goes to install mode, it backs me back out of the Windows Phone store and makes me go back to this. Every time I want to install something, it's like I have to back out. Then I have to go back to store and download. And this is really frustrating when you're setting up the device for a first time because it's like Twitter, back out, back in. Facebook, back out, back in. Just one of those things. And iOS used to do this too, but they don't anymore, which is uh, kind of nice. So Nokia Music, a great application as well. Let's take a look at the eight megapixel cameras. The benefit here in the winter, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it, is the Lumia 928 because it does have that Xenon flash. They're both fantastic in taking pictures. Great low light portraits. I've been really pleased with both of these. That said, you've got a clear winter in the Lumia 928 because of the Xenon flash. So I'll bring over the HTC One just for sake of comparison here, and we'll take some quick pictures. And this has the typical, and I'm going to turn the HTC One's display on. Turn that on and get a shot of it. And then there it is. Very clear, very easy to see. Great looking colors on this device. You can see even zooming in, HTC very clear, and the grill is very uh, clear. And like I said in part one, you have the great ability to have the lenses out of the box. So I can go over here for lenses, Panorama, Cinemagraph, Smart Shoot, hoping that they change this in a software update for the Lumia 920 because this is something I always argued. I'm like, out of the box, these people most likely don't know whether it's got Panorama capabilities or Smart Shoot capabilities, whereas it does, you just have to go to the store to download the applications or download the lenses, I should say. So we'll go in here and take a picture of HTC. Boom, there it is. And again, equally clear over here. Really nice, pinch to zoom, very responsive on both of these devices as you would expect. I like the camera application, it's very robust, and it's fun to quickly go back and forth between your live shot, and you can do this on the 928 too. Live shot, and then of course, your stills that you've already taken. So, cool features there, that's something a lot of the OEMs have picked up on, Android and more, in their, in their image galleries. So we'll go ahead and switch these back and take one last look at the web browser. And of course, we're gonna load up phonedog.com on both of these devices. So you've got it loading up right over here. A nice, fresh, new website with the ability to go between featured and latest, just by clicking right there. And I can scroll back and forth through these. Pinch to zoom, as you would expect on any Windows phone device. Very responsive all around. Portrait to landscape, 4.5 inches on both of these devices. A nice, sweet spot. So this, the, the same price, and really for a lot of ways, or in a lot of ways, the same functionality. So which one wins? That's a tough question, and honestly, you probably know which one's gonna win. The Nokia Lumia 928 wins the dogfight. That said, it wins it just because of the Xenon flash. That is really the only differentiator here that makes this device 
better, if you can even quantify it as that, than the 920. The Xenon Flash over here both have 2,000 milliamp hour batteries that perform mediocre. I mean, I wouldn't say it's an incredible battery life performance on either one of these devices. This one particularly, I was having issues, but then again, keep in mind, I'm using this as part of my 30 day challenge, but this one drained like 12% in 40 minutes the other day because it was, as it's doing right now, it's getting hot between the camera lens and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so keep that in mind. Where you do get a win with the 920 personalization, this thing is available in five different colors, so you can really pick the one that matters most to you. So for me, I love red. That red's probably my favorite color, or smartphone color, I should say. Green's my favorite color, but red's my favorite smartphone color. Love it, and love the way this one looks. That said, they're both fingerprint magnets, as you can see, but like the ability to choose my color over here, and I've got five different options to choose from. So from a personalization standpoint, Maybe from an LTE speed standpoint, depending on what market you're in, the Lumia 920 is a great option. If you're looking for that one with the latest and greatest, well, this one's about the same, but what it does bring to the table is that Xenon flash, and a lot of people are gonna like that, particularly if you take a lot of pictures. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more on the Nokia Lumia 928 and the Nokia Lumia 920. I'm on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and I would love to hear what you think about this dogfight, which one you think should win, or if you thought the right one won, let me know. Phone dog underscore Aaron, Twitter, Facebook, it's facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked on the site for more Windows phone battles on phonedog.com. I'll see you next time.